Greetings and welcome to Wedaways Getaways, virtual fans for wedding planners and engaged couples who are looking for the most beautiful and romantic international venues and properties for their celebrations. We're so glad that you're joining us today because we have an incredible property to share with you that's in Bulgaria. Now, when this property first reached out to me, I have to admit, I wasn't very familiar with the region. But once I saw the pictures and I started to travel and speak with so many people that know the region well, they all agreed this is a must-see destination. And this particular property, Zornitsa Family Estate, Zornitsa Family Estate is especially interesting because yes, it is run by a family, but it is also part of the very prestigious Relay and Chateau Association, which is a very selective under 600 worldwide property invitation only membership that is granted to properties around the world and less than 200 in the entire continent of Europe that has a special attention to food and beverage, the art of dining, art as a whole. Everything is farm to table, fork to table, outside garden to table, however you wanna describe it. And it is really something special. It is in very close proximity to our wonderful, wonderful friends in Greece and very nice drive if you're taking a beautiful drive through Eastern Europe, through Croatia. And it is just a magnificent part of the world. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Wetaways, Wetaways is a dual-sided marketplace. We have wetaways.com, which is a dynamic search engine featuring luxurious properties around the world that cater to the wedding and honeymoon markets. And we have a virtuoso affiliated travel agency by virtue of our association with Departure Lounge. And that is led by Pamela Goldman, my wonderful daughter and business partner who leads her team in booking venues, room blocks, ground transportation, experiences, not only for wedding planners and their clients, but for engaged couples and magnificent honeymoons as well. And joining us on our team is Marisa Garcia, our head of digital marketing. Marisa, I'm so happy to see you. Thanks for joining us. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Excited to be here. <laughs> so happy you're here and I like your background that yeah. must be Zornitsa it is it is <laughs> gorgeous I've got Zornitsa behind me too trying to get in the spirit and I would love to invite today Ralitsa all the way in Bulgaria joining us for Zornitsa family estate so if you could start by sharing your gorgeous property we'd love to learn as much as we can of course, the Rita family estate, you can see here the, uh, the name of our property. It's not, it's, uh, it is on purpose named family estate. I will tell you more a little bit later. Now, thank you, Renee, for um, mentioning Relay Chateau. It is our big honor to be part of their family. Uh, it's, we have become uh, friends with them and one family with them uh, in 2000 and uh, 17, just one year after we opened the estate, because we are a very young, uh, we started at, uh, we opened first at 2016, and we very quick, quickly managed to join the family of Relan Chateau. As I said, this is a very big honor of us. We are the only property in Bulgaria, which is part of this amazing association. We share a common values with them. Uh, as you know, this is an old association with um, a very um, a strong traditions about, in, about uh, having guests, about welcoming guests as, as their, your own family, as your own guests, not just, not just like guests are clients. 
and we very strongly believe in their values and share them in our estate. And now a little bit about our property uh, on this photo. On, the, on this photo, you see uh, our owners. As I said, it's not, uh, it's not by a coincidence that we call ourselves a family estate. This is our owners. Uh, these are our owners, a father and son. And Zornica is their dream, which came true uh, five years ago. Um, they wanted, uh, at first we started only with their own house. They wanted to, to build a house somewhere in the, in the vineyards, basically in the, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, they saw the amazing energy that the nature has, uh, the surrounding nature gives us. And they decided to, to share this emotion and this energy with, uh, with our guests. And this is how we started the project Zornica Family Estate. Uh, now we have only 15 rooms available. Uh, it's a boutique small property with uh, six individual villas. Here on this photo, you can see the villas. All of them have amazing views to the vineyards. As you can see from the photo, uh, each of the villas has a fireplace and a bathtub really um, spacious property with, uh, with the opportunity to, um, to indulge into a romance. Uh, the other type of accommodation that we offer is a boutique hotel, a small hotel with only nine rooms. Uh, it's the same type of the room. As you can see, we use uh, wood and stone. Uh, nature is everywhere. You have amazing views from each of the rooms. It's, uh, they are all surrounding us. The, na the nature is surrounding us. Uh, regarding our cuisine, we have uh, two restaurants at the, uh, at the estate, only 15 rooms, but two restaurants. One of the restra restaurants is a uh, terroir, uh, uh, terroir gourmet restaurant. This is uh, where we usually um, make the organization and the dinner, the wedding dinner. Uh, this, the second restaurant is more cozy. Um, it's more um, casual, the second one. The second restaurant is called Bistro 55. And this one is the, our main restaurant, Estivum. This is the Latin word for truffle because we also grow truffles in our estate. Uh, this picture is, uh, it's really amazing because here is where the, um, the magic of the weddings happen. Uh, here is where we organize the parties, uh, where we organize the dinner with a DJ, with dancing, with the wedding table and everything. Uh, as I already mentioned, we have, um, we have a garden. We produce our own vegetables, our own fruits, uh, we also have, besides the garden, we also have a farm uh, where we grow, uh, where, where we produce, uh, excuse me, uh, cheese, milk, eggs. Uh, we have uh, honey from our beehives. We produce also our own wines. We have a small quantity, but on very big quali quality of red wines, mainly. Uh, it's, uh, the red wine is very typical for our region. Um, maybe about six, 7,000 bottles per year. Uh, but uh, as I said, on a very high quality, we only uh, sell those wines in our estate and some of the relation top properties in Europe, which are uh, our, uh, our partners and friends. Uh, these are the wines, we need a family estate, red wines, as I said, we have different sorts and blends. Uh, another specific thing about our, our uh, property is uh, our spa. You see a photo of the indoor pools of the spa. We have minerals, uh, thermal spring, mineral thermal spring at the estate uh, with about 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, and uh, we use the water into our pools, of course. We have three indoor pools and uh, one outdoor pool. Uh, along with the pools, we have sauna, steam bath, um, 
uh, jet pool and we offer uh, massages and therapies. Uh, this is very specific part of, of our estate because uh, we offer uh, end of, in the massages, we use our own uh, honey, our the mud from the region, our own uh, herbs uh, included as aromatherapies and everything else. And here you can see an overview of the state. Uh, as I said, we are surrounded by uh, amazing nature, by um, four or five um, mountains. Uh, around us, you see views of vineyards. Um, the climate here is very war warm because we are close to, very close to Greek. We actually enjoy the Greek weather. We are located in Bulgaria, but only 10 or 15 minutes to, uh, from Greece. I will show you the map a little bit later. Uh, so about the, about the region of Zornica, we have a couple of, um, of uh, stunning surroundings. Uh, like this natural phenomenon that you see right now, it's called Neonic Sandy Pyramids. And it's really, it's really amazing because uh, you can do hiking, you can do uh, tours, eco, uh, eco tours and, and just, just walking around in the nature, in the beautiful nature. We have two monasteries close by. One of them is the biggest monastery on the Balkans. It's real a monastery. You can see it on the right side of the screen. Uh, we have a couple of waterfalls in the area. We have the smallest architectural reserve in Bulgaria, uh, which you see on the right side. It's very close to our estate. So the region is very, very, um, very, very rich of activities and sites to, to, to see uh, about the experiences. Uh, some of the experiences are rafting in the area, uh, fishing, a balloon lift over the vineyards. Uh, this was this is something that we do. Actually, it's a very good idea for wedding shoot photo shoots. Uh, the on the balloon, uh, as I said, very close to us is the Greek beach uh, for a day tour. A golf and ski, the biggest ski resort in Bulgaria, and one of the best resorts, uh, maybe the best resort in uh, on the Balkans, uh, Bansko is very close to the estate, only our uh, drive. So on one day you can easily go skiing and then on the other day you can easily go walk on the beach in Greece. That's very amazing about our location. The region, as I said, is very popular about uh, producing red wine, uh, very, uh, amazing red wine, uh, very specific, um, very specific sort of wine, which you can only find, find in this area of the world. Uh, and here you can see the map. Uh, Zornica is located basically here at the border of Bulgaria and Greece. Here is Greece. Um, the closest airport to us is Thessaloniki in Greece. It's only hour and a half drive uh, from, from us. We can organize a private shuttle. We can, um, we can advise you to pick up um, uh, rent a car and, and just drive to us. It's, it's very, very close and very easy way. And there are no, um, there are no boundaries to, to enter in our country from, uh, uh, from Thessaloniki. And the other option, of course, is Sofia, which is the capital in, of Bulgaria. Uh, Sofia is about two hours drive from, from, uh, from Zornica. Uh, there's also international airport, both in Thessaloniki and in Sofia. It's an easy way to get to us. I will just leave this photo because I find it a more small, most representative, representative. And thank you very much for your attention. Well, I mean, it's really, really beautiful. And like I said, um, if, you know, now is the period of time where there is some restriction of travel, we know that. And we also know that everybody is very anxious to get back out in the world. And with that said, this country, this particular resort is something so unique and special. And to be able, Ralitza, like you said, go skiing one day and the next day go to the beaches of Greece, 
fly into Thessaloniki. Did I pronounce it right? Thessaloniki. Yes, Thessaloniki, yes. And, mm -hmm. and rent a car and drive an hour, an hour and a half, get to Zornitsa, um, and to explore a place that many people have as ancestry. There are Bulgarian ancestors in the United States, generations that can return as a heritage experience or go to just a new place that they've never thought of before. There's so much to offer. And I love the way that you, um, that you market the wines. You call it bottled poetry. That is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it, such a, it tells a story. And, you know, wine lovers and food lovers, I mean, they're coming to a paradise when they're coming to visit Zornitsa. I did get two or three, three text questions from our viewers. One of them is, what was the circumstances with COVID? And is everything okay at this point? Or at what point do you see the borders being open and free to travel? Can you tell us a little about that? Of course, yes. Uh, well, of course, we experienced a difficult year last year and really hoping and looking forward for things to get better for this year. Uh, actually, in Bulgaria, we never had to close the hotels. We never had this. Uh, it, it, was not, it was not forbidden for the hotels to work and we never closed. Actually, uh, we had some guests uh, that came because of the open spaces that we have. Because as I said, we have 300 uh, acres of open space. It's it's only 15 rooms, but it's 300 acres of open space. So I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really amazingly big. And our guests love to walk around the estate. They love to go to the animal farm, to go to the vineyards, to go to the two lakes that we have. They just have this possibility to, to train outside, to bicycle, to ride a bicycle, and to do some activities outdoor. And we never closed, and actually we never had, um, how do you say it, empty spaces. I mean that we, we, only, we, we always, always had guests that wanted to be part of Zornita, that wanted to, to somehow to escape from what they experienced in the city, from the, the negative situation and uh, the stress and everything. And the, the, the other very important thing is that uh, in, in Zornita, in the region, we had, as I said, we have, as I said, a mineral uh, spring water, and this is very good for health. It, to, to, it's good for the healing, the, the air, the, 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 um, the air is very clean, and it's just good for the health. So we are in, in a good, uh, we are a good place to, to, to escape from COVID. <laughs> right. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I remember because, you know, on our website where you have your profile, there mm -hmm. is a message app and we see messages going to the property. We received a message from a Bulgarian wedding planner that works in the UK and they're very interested in even promoting more because the a lot of requests came from the UK to go to Bulgaria. Is that a big uh, part of your client base from the UK? Uh, for weddings, yes. Definitely, we had a significant amount of weddings from um, UK, coming from UK. I mean that maybe, okay, the, the, the um, the bride is from Bulgaria, but the groom is from UK, or they're both from UK. Uh, I don't know really why, but uh, people in UK uh, have interest in Zorica. That this is the fact. Yes, I think you know people. We already have two weddings uh, come coming from UK. Couples coming from UK. Two already. That's great. That's amazing. Um, uh, I wanted to also ask, I understand that the owners of Zornitsa got married on the estate. Do you have anything you can share with us about that or that we can post later? 
Of course, yes, yes, we have, uh, we actually have their wedding video, a short video, it's maybe five or six minutes, but it's showing uh, the atmosphere, you can indulge into their romance, and it's showing the atmosphere of organizing a wedding event, and I think it's wonderful that you asked me, because I would really like to share this emotion with, uh, with you, and with the people that would be interested in our property, and I think that this this would really get the the atmosphere of of a wedding in our estate. Yeah, I'll share it with you, of course.
That's wonderful. Well, let's hope that we can bring a nice fam trip of wedding planners to Zornitsa, if not the third or fourth quarter this year, for sure in 2022. I personally cannot believe how fast 2020 went. I mean, we were all really suffering with business and all of the restrictions and all of the struggles and illness that came from 2020. And we're hoping that 2021, you know, really gives a lot more opportunity. But thank God the year went fast. So now let's hope that this year is beautiful and it doesn't go so fast and we're able to enjoy all of these great experiences. Ralitza, you're amazing. It's so wonderful to have you. It's great to see you. And thank uh, you. We'll see you again. Yeah, we're going to post this uh, webinar right away. And Maritza, we can't do this without you. So we really appreciate and love you very much. And to all of you watching, next week we're going back to Mexico. So you'll have to check out the upcoming email and register for that because it's going to be amazing. We may even be going to Spain, so we're adding as much as we can. And let's all cross our fingers that things are beautiful. And from our family to yours, we send you all of our love and appreciation and hope to see you soon. Cheers to everyone. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you, Ralisa. Thanks Thank so you. Bye.